My name is Fred Perez, a.k.a. El Profe Perez. I've been building Loretta Bonds for the last 20 years. Before that, I was building Loretta bikes. I started building Loretta bikes in the early 70s and did a lot of competitions throughout the United States in the 80s. My daily driver is a 1948 Suburban. I enjoy driving the gray Suburban because people see it as a vehicle in progress. A lowrider in progress, a lowrider that has not been finished, a lowrider bomb that has potential to become a masterpiece. Behind me you see a 1948 Suburban. I named it Sky Pilot because when I bought it seven years ago, I found out that it belonged to the U.S. Air Force. Each lowrider bomb that I built has to be better than the last one that I had just built. The quality of work, the details, the chrome, the quality of the paint. Lowriders could be a car with wire wheels and hydraulics, but also it could be an old vintage car from the 30s, 40s, or 50s that could be original style, but lowered to become a lowrider bomb. Hi, my name is Jess Rodriguez. I am the current president, Denver Chapter Rollers Only Car Club. In 1986, when I had my first low rider, uh, it took about two or three years to finally customize it the way I wanted to. And after thousands of dollars, I, it's, it was time to move on to something else. Now, now I'm into classic cars. Low riding to me is is about my style, about my commitment to my brothers. As you see the cars today, we have uh, special touches on them like engraving. What I would like for people to know about us lowriders that don't know anything about lowriders or our culture is that we're good people. We're like any other car enthusiast. My trophy is when different people from different races give you a thumbs up. That's just respect on how you customize your own car. And that to me is, is my trophy. My name is Jose Carrillo, Suave Car Club, VP. Got a 79 Monte Carlo. It's an image of myself. I 
I just never want to see low rating die off. I want to see it continue to grow, be strong, come back as you know strong as it used to be back in the day. Anybody can become can own a lowrider. They just gotta put their mind to it. I got a custom made grill. Custom made steering wheel. It uh, has my Suave logo with the Monte Carlo logo on it. I have a mural on my trunk. Overall, I just love driving it. And every time I see a lowrider, I, I get pretty excited. I, I really like lowriders. I grew up. Um, with lowriders in the late 80s, early 90s. Um, my uncle and his friends had some really nice lowriders. Um, and since then, I just kind of got the passion and I always wanted one of my own. After the exhibit, I'd like you guys all to know that this is uh, low rating is not a hobby; it's a lifestyle. It's a lifestyle that we live on a daily basis. It's something that we enjoy doing, and uh, we have fun doing it. Hi, my name is Randy Lopez. And this is my 1950 Chevy Fleetline. Each lowrider has its own, it's, it's a piece of art, it's a canvas. I like the originality, we're back to the original stuff from 1950. I want unique, I want it different, I want it to stand out from everybody else's. Looking for the accessories for this car was a challenge. Lowrider really is a culture. It's not good guys or bad guys. It's just people that love cars. I think lowriding is always going to be relevant. I think it's always going to be around. Um, I think it's important to have history like we're having here in the museum so that uh, people can see the history and how it started. My name is Tomas and I got this truck. It's a 1992 Chevy pickup full size. My car club is Rollers Only. I've been with them for eight years and I hope to be there forever. What I'm trying to teach people here is uh, especially young people to have a motivation to stay away from drugs, to stay away from gangs. And uh, one of the things that you can do is here build a lowrider. What I did on this truck, I put a, a dashboard from a 1951 Chevy pickup. So what I did is uh, pretty much I had the idea of uh, building a truck, make it look older than newer. My airbags, you know, is one of the things that I really love in my truck. You know, it's a one airbag on top of the other one. All the gold leafing, you know, that's my style. You know, you can see Memorias de Mexico, that stands for Mexican Memories. From where I used to live, I used to see the volcano, the Popocatépetl, and the sleeping woman from my house. So inside the hood, you can see that mural.
the other thing that I really really love is my chromium my engraving This color is a brandy wine. I would like to invite young generations to to do this lifestyle, low riding. You know, you you guys will love it.